Hallo zusammen. Of course, Germans are able to comprehend Rammstein songs as they are with the German lyrics, what they could mean, what they might intend and imply and whatnot. So that's an obvious thing. And of course, it's completely understandable that foreigners might struggle with those things, what the lyrics mean. They might like the sound of the words and what Till expresses in the songs but they might not know what they are about. However, and this might come as a surprise to you of sorts, Germans might also be quite uncertain about why Till Lindemann, the singer in Rammstein, sounds the way he sounds. Where is he coming from? He rolls the R very expressively, is that related to a certain dialect even? And I personally also think that's a pretty interesting question. Why do Rammstein sound the way they sound, especially vocal-wise? What is that related to? So today, I, a native German and someone who has studied German language studies, meaning the German language and how it works, I want to try to explain what the background information to those things could be and are. And so on. So let's go. So if I were to find some, well, proofs or hints on why Till Lindemann sounds the way he sounds when he sings, I would probably start looking at his origin, where he's from, and what kind of German people speak there. So let's do that. Till Lindemann was born in Leipzig on January the 4th in 1963. Leipzig is a pretty big and well-known city in the state Sachsen, Saxony, which is one of 16 German states that are part of the Federal Republic of Germany. In short, Germany. Now, we could check out what natives living in that eastern part of Germany sound like when they speak German, and in fact, this dialect we commonly know as Sächsisch is a comparably distinct way of speaking German. Maybe that actually will tell us more. The linguistic way of this way of speaking German is Obersächsischer Dialekt. And apart from Saxony, Sachsen, it's also spoken in the states of Thüringen, Thuringia, and Sachsen-Anhalt, Saxony-Anhalt, all located in the Middle East part of Germany. However, nowadays, this way of speaking can rather be referred to as a colloquial regiolect, since definition-wise, a dialect is pretty much an individual linguistic variant with own words and expressions you wouldn't find in standard German or in other German dialects. And apart from that, the outer lines or the linguistic periphery of dialects and where they are commonly spoken are pretty much blurred nowadays anyway. And while all of this is good to know and I guess quite interesting to you guys as well because I guess you also watch my videos because you're interested in German and learning German, in the case of Till Lindemann and finding out why he sounds the way he sounds when he sings, this doesn't really matter too much. Not only because you don't have that rolled R sound in the Saxonian way of speaking, but also because he was raised in another German state way up in the northeast of Germany called Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, Mecklenburg-West Pomerania. These days it's common to speak standard colloquial German there for many people, but there are also some dialects which are especially common in those certain regions. A good example is Ostniederdeutsch, a variant of Niederdeutsch, Low German, which a couple of decades and centuries ago was spoken regularly, especially in the upper parts of Germany, and could also be identified as an own linguistic system next to High German, at least depending on which linguist you might ask, and there have been different forms and variations of Niederdeutsch as well, so it's not just one single dialect in that sense. And as a side note, if you look at a Low German word like Appel, this strongly reminds of the English apple, so Low German is actually more commonly, while not associated with English, but sort of similar, at least regarding some expressions and words. Some natives living in Mecklenburg-West Pomerania might also speak the Berlin dialect, or rather little dialects, and a mixture of those and standard German there. However, as, well, linguistically logical that approach is to look at his origin, his dialect and what they speak there, meaning the Germans that live in that region, that doesn't really help us in this case. So I suggest that we should change the perspective. Now that we know this isn't related to Till's very own dialect and where he's from, where could this rolled R especially, that one, really come from? What could be the origins of that R sound in German? 
There are many German dialects and some have remained more commonly spoken and basically alive than others, who gave and give way to standard German more and more. The most common and obvious example for a distinct R sound in a German dialect is the Bavarian dialect. Technically it's not just one distinct dialect, but rather a group of dialects that are spoken in Bayern, Bavaria in the south of Germany, in the majority of Österreich, Austria, some territories in Czechian, the Czech Republic, Italian, Italy, Ungarn, Hungary and die Schweiz, the Swiss Republic. When these people speak German, they tend to roll the R in a very expressive way. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hurt. Respectively, they stress the consonant R in spoken German, which mainly has to do with how they verbalize and intonate vowels right before the R. Let's take a look at the word der Markt, singular, the market. Der Markt would be the standard way of verbalizing that term in standard German. Whereas in Northern Germany, people would tend to stress the A, meaning to prolong the vowel A in that case, people in Bavaria and in the other just mentioned regions rather tend to verbalize it very briefly and shortly. So in Northern German it could sound like Markt, whereas in Southern German it could be Markt, something like that. Maybe you already know about this, but a common reason why Till Lindemann's singing voice and the overall gesture and appearance of Rammstein keep being associated with the likes of Adolf Hitler and the Third Reich is that we all have heard some Hitler speeches in school and elsewhere. And Hitler was born in Austria, yet lived in Munich, München, the capital city of Bayern, for quite a while. Especially in public propaganda speeches, he sounded very distinct, loudly upfront, and wanted to grab the attention of everyone listening that way. He sort of had a tendency to stress and over-articulate certain elements, which also gave an impression of a harsh-sounding German language. As a native speaker, I suppose foreigners who have only heard about the German language and don't know too much about it, might associate the basic sound of it with that harsh intonation, which isn't typical for the vast majority of German dialects or even standard German at all though. So even though I see and get why people think that Till sounds so harsh and Hitler-like, I think it's a prominent ingredient of Rammstein's everlasting love of provoking people at the end of the day. I mean, if you followed their career, they have done that multiple times. For instance, by using snippets of a Leni Riefenstahl propaganda video for the Depeche Mode cover Stripped, which according to the band and management was chosen out of aesthetic reasons. It shows naked athletes and they didn't choose that because they wanted to pay a tribute to the Third Reich ideology or the Riefenstahl propaganda. We're talking about Rammstein at the end of the day. This all works as a way of provoking and getting attention. I also state this because this intended provocation isn't the only potential reason why Till sounds the way he sounds when he sings. As you might have noticed, I've specifically talked about Till's singing voice, and I did that on purpose. When you hear Till Lindemann giving interviews, which is a rare occasion, you'll immediately notice that he doesn't roll the R there at all. So ein gestenreiches Zwiegespräch da führen kann irgendwie und ein bisschen acten, irgendwie keine Ahnung. Das Aber ansonsten gucke ich da nicht so. Ich suche mir einen Punkt irgendwo hinten. And there are quite a few Rammstein songs where he doesn't roll the R even once either. A good example would be Ohne Dich on Reise Reise. I guess here he doesn't use that phonetic style or figure, since judging from Till's standards, he sings rather high and the rather harsh sounding approach might not fit the theme of the song for the most part either. A good example for not using the rolled R sound here is the chorus line. Mit dir bin ich auch allein. With you I'm still alone. In the typical Rammstein style it would sound like this. Mit dir bin ich auch allein. Of sorts. This once again shows that this intonation doesn't necessarily have anything to do with his dialect or the way he has learned to speak German. Here it rather reminds of a specific type of consciously speaking or singing German. The so-called Bühnendeutsch or Kunstdeutsch, stage German that is. Nope, these aren't dialects but rather German intonations and verbalizations that have been and are common in theater plays and opera. It's basically an artificial way of verbalizing and expressing, stressing the consonant R in German in the sense of not being based around a dialect the actors or singers really speak themselves natively. 
It's basically a stylistic device for strengthening and underlining the meaning and the sound of statements and sentences in a theater play by being very expressive with the intonation of consonants in contrast to the vowels. Most modern plays might not feature that as often anymore, maybe also because the acoustics are better these days, but it was a pretty common thing back in the day. Here's a little example of a modern play of Die Räuber by Friedrich Schiller, which he wrote in 1781, long, long time ago. And here you can actually hear a little snippet, a little bit of a rolled R. It's a little snippet with sort of a vintage filter over the soundtrack, in the literal sense of the word. And that's why it sounds, well, quite classy and old-fashioned. Oh, ihr Mächte des Himmels, entlastet mich dieser tödlichen Wollust. And when I think about it, it actually makes sense, because the lower you sing, the more certain consonants and sounds might probably sound blurry or get dropped in a phonetic sense. So yeah, it might be a good idea to overemphasize on them and over expressing them by using something like that rolled R sound. So summing things up, this stylistic approach, meaning the rolled R in particular, works from both a German and a foreign perspective, because it reminds of certain dialects and historic German figures, even though the rolled R in this case is not related to those dialects, and because of this reference to German figures and it makes you think of that, this works as a provocative aspect, it makes the consonants sound more distinct, especially when singing in a low register. It generally sounds very expressive and phonetically interesting, also for foreign ears. It lifts the vocal melody and the vocal line from the loud instrumentation and gives it a very own character. It has what we Germans call a huge Wiedererkennungswert, a recognition factor or recognition value. And in that sense, it distincts Rammstein from most other bands, German and non-German. And last but not least, it might also make people think of a classic quality to the music if they are aware of that classic stage German sound. Alright guys, I don't know if this was all new to you or if you already knew about this. I think it's a great addition, a great implementation to the sound palette that makes Rammstein sound unique. What do you think? Also, if you're interested in finding out more about certain Rammstein songs, what they are about, what they translate to in English, what a native German being me in that case, would interpret those songs like. Feel free to watch all of that. I made a whole new Rammstein playlist with all lyrics, interpretations and everything regarding Rammstein I've ever done. I feel very grateful for all the support I've gotten so far, so thank you all so very much. So see you next time. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.